Hello, welcome to quantitative reasoning solution section. And today we have quantitative reasoning from Lantern Step Book 4, page 78. And we have this problem before us. Thank you for joining in today. And to our new viewers, kindly subscribe to this channel for more quantitative reasoning solutions and math problems. All right. So we have this. We have 64, 36, 14. 35, 25, 4, 7. In here we have 49, 81, and 16. So we're going to so please do well to subscribe to this channel. Okay, so let's look at it. Let's find 64. To find 64, we're going to have square root of 36. And square root of 36 is 6. Alright. And we simply have 14 minus, minus 6 is 8. Hence, 8 squared equals 64. To find 36, we have square root of 64, which is 8. So 14 here minus 8 equals 6 and 6 squared equals 36. So to find 14. So to find 14, we're going to have square root of 64, okay, plus square root of 36. Square root of 64 is 8, plus square root of 36 is 6, and our answer is 14. Okay, so we're going to try this and see if the same pattern works here. To find 49, we're going to have square root of 81, which is 9, and 16 minus 9 is 7. 7 squared is 49. 7 squared is 7 times 7. So to find 81, we have square root of 49 as 7. And 16 minus 7 is 9. So we're going to square 9, which is 9 times 9, and it's 81. Okay, and lastly for this, we're going to have to find 16. We're going to have square root of 49 plus square root of 81. Square root of 49 is 7 plus square root of 40, 81 is 9. So 7 plus 9 is 16. All right, so... Do well to subscribe, like this channel for more quantitative business and math problems and solutions. Bye.